This week on my rant video going over these topics, how Rockstar has screwed the GTA Online content creators for PS4 or Xbox One. Updates to a new voice chat system now in effect. Rockstar officially hinting at a new update in the coming weeks. As well as the new car released this week in GTA Online and one of the prize ride vehicles, which is one of the fastest cars in the game, that has been made super easy to win this week. Of course, a rant video by me, King Vector 11 taking notes from my last rant video that I've done last week, in which numerous members have very much misunderstood me or have probably fallen under the influence of Rockstar's STD that they've released to most of the player base last week through a vehicle. God, that was so... that actually was disturbing. Anyways... Of course, I keep track of all this news on my weekly update videos every Thursday evening, so if you wish to stay tuned for content like that every Thursday evening, do leave a like and subscribe, or you can even go the extra mile and share with your friends or leave a comment on those videos on what you may have liked or disliked about the weekly update content or news in which I purposely make videos like those to let you know to inform you of anything or everything that you may need or want to know that's new of the past week's news or in this upcoming week's weekly content for GT Online that is in effect. So without further ado, let's go through these topics one by one. So first off, very quickly, I'd like to bring up that there is a new vehicle surprisingly this week which comes after a week before which gave most of the player base an STD, which from like I've said on the previous from the previous video, many players just came across to my video and started just shit talking me for absolutely godforsaken reasons that I don't even understand. Like comments like, oh you should take the video down for the sake of your future grandkids or something. What's the point of saying something like that? I mean my gosh, that STD has really gone far. Anyways, so this week we got a new vehicle the Declass Impaler SZ. Now I'm bringing this up because in their newswire they have stated that you can set the drag racing circuit ablaze with the new Declass Impaler SZ which basically either hints at us or misleads us to believing that this could be a drag vehicle and which was unfortunately revealed enough by Tez2 that this vehicle was a missed opportunity that Rockstar has definitely not looked at very clearly and did not make this a drag vehicle so i guess select vehicles can be used for drag races i have no idea i didn't do drag racing even if i said i want to do it i completely just didn't have the interest so there you go from the last video when i've said how rockstar has royally fucked the player base here's another reason why they have screwed us so you're welcome for keeping updates on my videos now on the new topic the important updates that many are speculating could be the Clicken Bell farm raid. Now, I'm considering this to be speculation because as far as it was released on Rockstar's Newswire, they have only mentioned as much as the fact that this week, for players who log in as of this week and beyond, we will get a phone call from Mr. Vincent Effenberger in which he just calls us, talks about how he is going to see us very soon about an upcoming opportunity and that is as much as I'd like to speak to you of because that's as much as Rockstar has revealed to us which this is actual information from Rockstar and this was mentioned by non-Rockstar members speculating as I would like to say once again how this could be the Cluck and Bell farm right Now I am only saying this in a sense that it could be speculation, not in a sense to say that it will never happen. So don't misinform yourself and don't confuse my words with what you're thinking because you got an STD last week, hallelujah. I'm glad you know how to buy a vehicle in GTA Online and um, anyways, um, so until Rockstar says anything more from now, I would like to believe this man's famous words that I would like to save on my future videos. It's best to expect nothing more than what's in the drip feed, in which was drip fed to us right over here. Now in official news, as much as it's concerned about a recent patch that has officially taken effect for especially PlayStation 4 and Xbox One players, in which I would definitely like to go through the details as quickly as I could before I finally go into my opinion on what I believe was the cause for this to take effect besides Rockstar's 
BS nonsense, as they've said. Oh, we're trying to make more room for more updates on the older gen consoles, and because they have limited technical difficulties, they're trying to remove some stuff from older gen consoles to make room for newer updates, which I completely found bullshit, and I've never read even more bullshit of that ever since Rockstar has told us that they would quote-unquote streamline the vehicle browsing experience by simplifying it a little more, which in the end all they've done was remove nearly 200 vehicles from in-game websites and threw them behind paywalls. In which for those who are still sleeping at this point of the video, I would like to wake you up right now from what I've just said, that was another way Rockstar has fucked the player base. By giving them misleading information, misleading content, that told us one thing but ended up doing another thing, which threw so many players off and broke so many players' hearts, including those who are most interested in buying and driving vehicles around, just to mess around and chill out and try to enjoy their time with other players who are willing to do the same. Now let's briefly look at the box at the bottom, where it states February 20th, where the test to himself has stated the patch to remove the rocks editor from ps4 and xbox one is now live in which the direct mode is still available in which there's a new patch that's available for ps5 and xbox series x and s as well the patch notes i will show you in a brief moment in which was all put together in this one tweet so now that i've read the box at the bottom i will go through the box at the top in which here is all the general patches and the general fix which mostly resorts around the voice chat moderation testing that's now available for PS4 and Xbox One, somehow, hallelujah, and a bit more updates on the Rockstar Editor and its replay functionality that's been officially removed from PS4 and Xbox One. Besides that, the Vinewood Visionary and Majestic Achievements or Trophies are now unlockable just for using Director Mode on PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, and Xbox One, but specifically for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One players, like I've shown in the last general, well, fix, as you can see, the general patch, the Rockstar Editor has been officially removed. So what does that mean, okay? After looking through this and thinking about it, there's a bit of speculation, there's a bit of thinking left to right that I've been doing, and it only makes sense for this to be true. In which, by the way, if I haven't shown you that these two are achievements, because I didn't even know myself, here you go. So these achievements or trophies that used to have one thing are now just unlockable just for using Rockstar Editor. Now, about this point that I want to come back to. For those who haven't really kept up with the Rockstar Newswire that I especially keep up on on a weekly basis in my weekly update videos, Rockstar has generally said, as I've said before and I'll repeat myself, that they are trying to make room for older gen console players because of technical difficulties and limitations to make room for future upcoming GTA Online updates. Now, like I've said, that was just complete BS because in reality, when you think about it, how much more profit can Rockstar make off of the new gen consoles, such as PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, compared to PS4 and Xbox One? When you look at the, especially the amount of content that's available for PS4 and Xbox One, you can see there is much less available than on newer gen consoles. Specifically for the, specifically for the um, given reason that newer gen consoles have more content such as GTA Plus and the expanded and enhanced unique content that's uniquely available just on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. But as we can see, Rockstar Editor has just been removed completely just from PS4 and Xbox One. So in the end, what I thought to myself, which could be true, because of course, if you know Rockstar well enough, you would definitely know and understand and believe what I'm about to say. Rockstar has screwed the content creators for YouTube who make content, who still probably have content even to this very day until it was completely removed if they haven't exported it on time to their newer gen consoles or wherever they could, however way they wish. In which I would like to say right now, this means like this this feels like a huge like screw for the player base especially for ps4 and xbox one because that just means those guys cannot do content anymore for the reason first of all 
that because they have less content to, let's say, share with the world. So what's the point of keeping them around? And besides that, they would like to promote their newer gen content for other players who are using, let's say, who are playing with GTA Plus and with the like new content, the new vehicles, how special works, test rides, going into the Vinewood Car Club, etc, etc, in which Rockstar would like to promote that a lot more, and by force, it would mean to take down the Rockstar editor. So, even if this was a last minute choice or decision that Rockstar has done, they have successfully done it without thinking about the trophies or achievements progress whatever so where they took a very last minute let's say choice to say let's make these achievements unlockable just for using rockstar or just for using the director mode so if you'll go in the director mode you'll get these achievements but one thing's for sure you can no longer make content from ps4 or xbox one using the rockstar editor which is a pretty shameful move so if you understand me and you understand rockstar's decision well enough based on my words it's it's unfortunate it's unfortunate that they have to go through such extent to screw the player base which comes to my final point rockstar continues to screw the player base just by doing things like that so here's another point to prove to you how rockstar has screwed the player base specifically for content creators on ps4 and xbox one shameful so yeah as a final point rockstar editor has been completely removed and it seems that Rockstar has made a general patch where the two achievements or trophies, as I've rather shown, and I'll show again, are now unlockable just for using director mode across all consoles, including PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, in which I've labeled RE as Rockstar Editor. Now, voice chat moderation. Let's go through these notes, where Rockstar has announced that since the release of the Chop Shop, the default setting for voice chat and GTI is now set to off, which they have discussed all these little patches and they're testing moderation, etc, etc. If you want to wish to read this, go ahead, pause the video to read this little bit of text. But for those who are interested to see about their plans for voice moderation here, well, look no further because this is all that it leads to, these three questions. Now, my big concern about this voice chat moderation is if they're going to filter out, let's say, friendly trash talk properly versus if they're going to take every, let's say, swear or slur into consideration and take action against these players by going as far as permanently banning them from using voice chat. Now, from especially videos that I've watched and kept up on, specifically from Australian content creators, when they like to play GTA Online and they have their own language of friendly trash talk, they might call each other a floppy fucking cunt or some, you know, Mike Mongrel sausage or whatever, something like that. I don't mean to mock the accent, by the way. I'm very sorry. I try my best being, you know at this point in time but the difference between trash talk and let's say friendly competition friendly competitive talk there's a thin line especially for those guys so i'd especially feel bad for most players who randomly get banned without any given reason or context just for accidentally saying i'll go fuck your mother gg or something like i hope rockstar has good consideration when it comes through this moderation stuff and as of February 20th at 9.34, the voice chat moderation has been added to GTLM PS4 and Xbox One versions as well with today with that day's patch. And it covers about 25% of sessions. However, later on, on February 21st at 9.26 a.m., it has now covered up to 50% of sessions with that day's update. Now, as a final note that I'd like to bring up in this video because i've went through some bad news and i've thought to myself should i put the good news at the end or should i go through the good news as quickly as possible and then go through the main point of the video but let's end the video on a good note shall we now this week for those who don't know the ocelot peria when i first saw this vehicle being available on the prize ride as a prize ride for this week i thought "Ooh, that's cool i wonder what the reward will be and the reward is simply just to place top five for three days in a row that means you can start as late as sunday with this challenge for those who wishes to even do this challenge. But I'm telling you right now, for such a very easy challenge that might take a little while, 
you can it's it's such a simple easy challenge and it's so shameful for how they made such a low standard for such an awesome vehicle and i would never praise a vehicle like this ever in my life in gt online if it was never so impressive to me but i'm telling you right now the only thing you need to know about this vehicle is that it first of all looks really freaking badass look at the freaking lenses at the front the freaking you know front the headlights as you if you want to call it to make it more you know easy on your mind but besides the badass looks this car back in 2020 especially it was just about three years ago this car was known as the supercar killer specifically because it's in the sports class and it topped number zero which was even faster than the fastest supercar class the fastest supercar in the supers class back in 2020 which says a lot about this vehicle even if it may not be the fastest up to date to this day, it's still a very freaking fast vehicle. And I'm not ashamed to say that I have literally commented on even Digital Car Addict's video stating that when I saw that this vehicle had this prize ride challenge, I felt almost as excited to see this for the first time as if Rockstar would have suddenly randomly announced in their newswire for players who log in between now and March 20th, 2024, which I'd like to remind you is the second to last Wednesday of March in 2024, logging in between now and March 20th, 2024, players can receive free $10 million upon logging in straight to their maze bank account within 72 hours i felt so excited to see such a vehicle have such a low standard given to it basically it's so easy to get this vehicle and this vehicle is so badass what even shames me the most which i've even made a video one years ago back when it was bugged let's say there was a visual spoiler bug that messed around with your camera with other objects in the game and all it did was just have the spoiler on the back of your car just fly everywhere and glitch out the entire visuals and it took rockstar six months after i brought it up through videos and through their support for them to finally fix the car and the reason why they put this car into shame was to try and promote their new Italia RSX, which back then was a new KO Perico vehicle that they wanted to hype up so much that was slightly more expensive and just not as performed as the Perio. So when they finally fixed this car, I announced it that the car is fixed. And I'm telling you right now, this thing is worth it. I, will n I can continue hyping up this vehicle so much. Because this thing is worth it. I've literally, when I first heard about this car being the fastest in the game back in 2020, I bought the vehicle. I drove it around. Sure, the first moments might be like child steps. You will definitely spin out with the vehicle. You may definitely lose control here or there. But once you know how to handle the beast within, this thing is godlike. It's a freaking badass vehicle, and I recommend anyone watching this video to go get this vehicle through the prize challenge right now, even if you have to, with four of your friends. Just get this vehicle. Just get it. Just do whatever you want, especially for players out there who are looking for speed. If you're a player who's just looking for looks, sure, this car might be average. It might be average, except with a front looking badass. It might look average, but it's performance. It can catch up to almost everything. It may not be able to run, uh, it may not be able to outrun an Oppressor Mark II. And for especially players who are looking forward to the Oppressor Mark II being a prize ride vehicle somehow in some godforsaken world of someone's imagination, I don't know how the fuck that could ever happen anytime ever in GT Online. Those, this prize ride vehicle may not be for you, but for those who are looking for speed or just a vehicle to drive around with, just to do something, just to like, you know, go places from A to B just as fast as you can, I recommend getting this vehicle. And that's all that I'm going to speak about in this rant and ramble. So I would never really praise Rockstar for such an amazing feat that they've done, but I'd like to praise them for giving such a low standard to the Perry, especially that it's such an epic vehicle. So there's a balanced opinion that I have about this week in GT Online, and I would definitely like to remind those 
who have also said that I have such a low opinion about Rockstar, I would never have a low opinion about nothing if nothing would ever happen besides having a game that exists. For things that are taking that have been taken action by Rockstar, from all the actions that they've taken compared to actions they should have taken a long time ago, compared to actions they should have taken but they still never do to this very day, all of these experiences, all of these facts and opinions and everything that I keep updated on all reflect off of my official view of how I see Rockstar, especially through GTA Online. So I would never have an opinion if I would never have a backup on what I know based on what I've seen, based on what is true, whether it's through a player's experience or what Rockstar is doing. So I'd like to remind you about that. And I'd also like to say for those who kept up until this part of the video, thank you for watching. And yeah, go get that car. It's totally worth it. So it might not though, so that might be a good thing. But in the end, there have been some things that I've already stated and I would like to remind you, Rockstar has continued to fuck the player base. With these topics that I've brought up, or at least most of the topics that I've brought up, but for some other topics, it may be a blessing. So in the end, however you want to see it, it's totally up to you. But that's up to you. Not what I've said. I could say anything. It's just what you believe. Thank you for watching.